today is the big day today that we're going to go and do the Great Wall of China. Super, super stoked and excited for this. I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. So, I'm going to grab a quick little bit of brekkie and then we'll be heading on the bus. Oh no, it's raining. This is what I wanted to have happen today. <laughs> Just look at that. <laughs> what are you, Seb? <laughs> How many, like, at once? Oh, they're pandas. They're little pandas there. And so the walk-ups, the wall begins. Are you quite a lot, though? You probably do better for your health if you... If you try and maintain it because you're Almost there. making yourself sort of quickly. Oh, come on. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> This is just mad. How are you guys finding it though? Guys, how are you finding it? Super duper! Tash? No comment. <laughs> So yeah, I've made it. Um, we're on this part of the wall at the moment and honestly, it is just surreal. I mean, that's it there. Like the views from here are just honestly, there's more of it, there it is. It's just spectacular. I've know I've used this word a lot on this trip, but I don't care, I'm gonna use it again. This is honestly, just absolutely incredible and truly, truly breathtaking. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. Never did I think I'd be here this year. Just. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. 
literally coming down that one on Toboggan was so, so fun. Like, you can go so quick and get some incredible views. I'm just just being lads, like, we were crashing around, bumping into each other. So there are several ones went flying when Jan's crashed into him. Best, best 100 Jan spend so far. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Great Wall of China. Time to head back now, so uh, thank you Great Wall of China. It's been a privilege. I'm supposed to go past. It's been a privilege and I hope to see you again in the future. Okay, so just freshened up after all the walking today at the wall. I'm now heading down into the lobby to meet up with the lads and then I'm not entirely sure what we've got planned to do tonight, so Stay watching because this could get quite interesting. Now off to a good start of the strike. Calm, collected. Is he man? Is he machine? Who knows? I'm limping around. <laughs> You're just going brute force now, aren't you? You're just throwing it as hard as you can. That's the aim of the game, James. Such a knob. If I do one more, I just throw it as hard as I can. Yeah, well, keep it smooth though. I'm not going to break the floor or something. Right, so unfortunately I was player four. And this lucky son of a bitch was number two. <laughs> and on that disappointing note of somehow losing bowling to Matt, it's time for me to end things for today. Today has just been an absolutely incredible experience. I mean, getting to see the Great Wall of China in person is just completely surreal. Like, you hear all the stories about it, you see all the pictures and the films it's in, but honestly, nothing can prepare you for actually seeing it. And it's just truly, truly spectacular. And like, it's something I'll carry with me for a long time and I don't think I'll ever forget it. We were going to go out later tonight, but um, a couple of us just felt absolutely knackered and after having a really fun time bowling, it was like a nice way to end off the night there. So on that note, I shall bid you goodbye and I'll see you in tomorrow's update. Good morning, guys and girls. The time is almost 10 o'clock and I'm just about to head down to meet up with the people. And today, I think for the rest of the morning and the early afternoon, we're gonna go see the Lama Temple and then in the afternoon, I think we might be enjoying a little bit of swimming at the Olympic Swimming Park. So that will be really interesting. So let's see how today goes. <laughs> so here we have some incense sticks and what we essentially do is we put them in the fire light them and essentially a prayer to Buddha who is in that building over there and uh, yeah it's quite a holistic experience I must say. You have people over here just look moving down the prayer to Buddha. So it's a lot like what you do in a church uh, in Christianity where you light a candle and say prayer it's exactly the same thing. Yeah and there's a lot of smoke so but as he went this here is a Nepalese or Buddhist prayer wheel and it's a traditional way of praying in Buddhism so you go over and you can see the boys here are spinning the wheel and what has written is the prayer so you spin it and you make the prayer to Buddha. It's pretty self explanatory. Yeah. 
us what it says on the tin. It's all about technical. So, this is deeper into the temple, and um, still the same things going on. They're lighting the incense. And uh, inside here we've got, it's just the biggest Buddha ever and in front of it it's got like a really big uh, amount of fruits and food and offerings. It's a big cornucopia of like, uh, just I guess like wealth to Buddha. So these are obviously prayers and offerings all going. And it's just, yeah, a really calm, spiritual <laughs> vibe. It's pretty... Yeah, it's pretty, as you'd expect, it's pretty humbling. Okay, so just leaving the Lama Temple now. Um, I haven't filmed too much because out of religious respect, like, didn't want to film inside half the temples because, you know, respect to the religion. Yeah, just incredible, fascinating size, like, seeing the buildings again like the architecture around here is ridiculous like how these buildings how intricate they are how they've been built is just incredible um seeing the giant buddha statue like that was incredible um just seeing people come together like this it's a really humbling experience because when there are a lot of people who question religion and beliefs around the world just when you see people come together like this it's what personally leads me to believe that there's got to be something more so yeah overall really really humbling sight and i'm glad we came um, any final thoughts from you, uh, Seb? Oh, no, it's just a really, really cool place. I love yeah. it. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, not sound. Right, I think our plan is now we're going to have a little bit of a rest this Sunday and maybe go some swimming, so that'll be good. So, catch you in a bit. <laughs> right, so change of plan now. How we were going to go swim at Olympic Park, when we found that is about 20, 30 quid, that's a bit too much. So, we've just caught the tube with a couple of the rest of the guys to... Where are we? Where are we? Uh, we're the next stop from Tiananmen Square. Don't know what it was called. Uh, do we know what this is? Uh, no. Okay, so we're not really sure where we are or what we're doing, but uh, we're just going to swing it and see how it goes. So uh, let's find out. Okay, so seeing as we got back from the market slightly early and everyone else is pretty knackered at the moment, I thought I might as well try and stay a little bit fit and actually go to the gym because they've got a gym on site. So I'm going to quickly check that out in my new gear and see how it goes. So catch you in a bit. Okay, so this is my first time in the gym for about two months. Got a lot of work to do to get to where I was. Heesh. But keep going, keep grinding. <laughs> Alrighty then, I've just come out of the gym and quite honestly I'm quite embarrassed about how much fitness I've lost over the past couple of weeks, but it's ridiculous. But nonetheless, same with after any gym session, I'm feeling pumped, I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling good. Just makes me know I've really missed the gym man. I'm so glad I've had the chance to go and do this now. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna head back, have a nice shower, and then maybe go and get some drinks with people, but we'll see how it goes. Right, so I really don't know what it is, but after having like such a chill day today, I'm literally just sat here now outside my accommodation, enjoying the pretty nice weather, and I'm honestly just full of good, good vibes and positive vibes right now. Like, never in a million years did I think I'd be sitting in Beijing right now. Didn't think I'd meet the amazing people that I have, and, yeah, like, like, life is just really good right now, like, 
I thank, obviously, I'll thank like the University of York Global Opportunities again for like giving me the bursary so I could come to do this because without that I'd never be doing something as incredible as this. Just, life really is too short so you've got to make the most of it. Just spread the love, spread the good vibes, just whenever anything's dragging you down or there's something that's making you feel rough or low or down, you'll get through it. Like, it might not seem like it in the moment but then you've just got to keep on going, keep on going, things will get better and you'll just be in a moment where you find like happiness and you'll just be in such a good mood and you'll just be really, really good. So I think I'm probably going to be going to bed soon, so I'll be saying goodbye for the day now, but yeah, just again, life's too short, make the most of it. Live a happy life. Like at the end of the day, you are your own person there's all the stresses all the bad things happening in the world but you just can't let it bring you down like you've got to keep yourself happy and again doing stuff like this just go out there like apply yourself just if you have any opportunity come up to like any opportunity at all even if it's just go out for a meal with someone or I don't know but any opportunity just go for it don't hold back absolutely just go for it because it could be something life-changing it could just be incredible so yeah I'm gonna go now have a fantastic time, have a fantastic day, have a fantastic night whenever you're watching it and just, um, yeah, see you tomorrow.